My name's Sarah and this is Like So Amazing. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I wanted to share a video all about the things that I've made during the month of September. So as you might be aware, I've been really busy getting all the preparations done for the launch of my new shop, which is taking up a lot of brain space and a lot of time at the moment. But I have managed to get some sewing done and I even managed to get myself a couple of days off here and there, just because I felt like I was kind of heading for burnout so I just had a weekend off where I could just sit and sew which was lovely and it kind of brought sewing back to being more a hobby rather than a job so that was great. So the first thing I'm going to start with is what I'm wearing so if we just move my hair out of the way you can see it a bit better. So this is the Sew My Style pattern for September and it's the Chalk and Notch fringe dress. So I've made it from a beautiful rayon. It's the Rifle Paper Company new collection. So it's, this is the Juliet rayon and it's got the navy background. It also comes on a cream background as well. So it's just so beautiful, really lovely bold blooms. And I did the version with the little tab and the buttons. And I also did the version without the buttons down the front. The reason I went for this style is because I felt that the other one was too similar to the Myosotis dress which was an earlier pattern for So My Style and much as I love that dress I kind of didn't want another repeat of it if it wasn't the same pattern so I thought I'd give this bodice a try and I actually really really like this and it's really easy to just slip on and off and I decided to put the waist ties in to cinch it in just because I prefer that kind of silhouette. So I enclosed my waist ties into the front darts. You can choose to have them in the back darts as well. It's completely personal preference. So once I made it and I tried it on, I decided that I actually quite liked the length it was and didn't want to take it up by a huge amount. So I just used my old trick of putting some satin bias binding on the bottom and just, so you're only then turning up about a quarter of an inch. So I always find that that's, that's a really good way if you don't want to take something up too much but I used a really nice pink satin bias binding as well, so you can just about see it when you move because of the scalloped edge of the dress. But yeah, I really wasn't, if I'm honest, I wasn't up for making this dress. I just, there was just, you know, oh, so much hassle of printing out the PDF and sticking it all together and then making it. But I absolutely love it. I've worn it tons. Um, I think it's, even though it's quite a summery look, I think it looks really nice over black tights, boots and a leather jacket so that's how I've been styling it up. And I find that rayon fabrics work really well for winter clothes as well, they don't have to just be for summer. They feel nice over tights, they don't cling like a cotton does. So yeah, super pleased with this one, love it. And it was really nice to see other people embracing it as well. I've seen some beautiful versions, really nice maxi dress versions and I think I might do that next summer as well because I definitely prefer a maxi dress for the summertime. I didn't have any fitting problems with this dress because it's a fairly loose silhouette anyway you just cinch it in using the waist ties so that's great there's plenty of room for movement in it and yeah it's just super flattering really nice and casual and best of all it has pockets so next up is a garment that has been on my to make list for a few months so you may have seen my summertime jenny overalls that I have worn to death over the summer, so the flamingo print ones and I also did a green and white floral print one as well. So I did the cropped version for those, but I am the sort of person that as soon as it gets colder, that's it, I need full leg coverage, I need socks, I need boots, um, otherwise I just get freezing. So I decided to make the longer version and yeah, just amazing. Um, so these are made from a stretch cotton sateen, so it's a leopard print and I wish you could stroke it because it's just, it's almost got a nap, it's almost like moleskin, it's just beautiful, it's really really soft and strokeable and it's a really lovely quality so it's got a tiny bit of stretch in it which is great for trousers anyway. And I chose to make the version just with the bib as normal. I could have made just trousers, but I love the look of the dungarees. It's really flattering. 
and rather than do any kind of crazy lines because it just wouldn't have worked I've just done a black cotton lawn to line the pockets and just the bib bit and also the um, zipper tab so yeah they worked out brilliantly so the only adjustments I needed to make on these I took the centre back in by about an inch I think in the end just because I go in quite a lot there so just closing that up and then just adjust the waistband accordingly and then I took the pattern up by about an inch now I really wasn't sure on how long to make them so let's just say that they do feel a bit 90s so I don't know if you remember in the 90s we all kind of wore flares and if it was raining then they would get soaking wet because they'd be dragging on the floor or they'd also get all scuffed up at the bottom um, and I feel that it might be a little bit like that but I don't care I'm not going to wear them out when it's raining so I'm just going to wear them with boots um, but yeah absolutely love them already so the way I've been styling them up is just with a black top underneath like a black t-shirt so either the Agnes top or another top which I'm going to get onto shortly but yeah, you could wear maybe a, an Astoria or something like that. I don't know if I'll wear them with anything other than black. Maybe a white top, but I don't think any other pattern because these are so bold. But I just absolutely love them. So yeah, definitely can't recommend the Jenny pattern enough. And as I mentioned, so I've been wearing them with my just black three quarter length sleeve Agnes top, which is fine, all well and good. But let's face it, if it's cold, I'm going to want my arms covered. So I decided to make the Tilly and the Buttons Freya top from her stretch book. And I'm surprised it's taken me this long to make this. But um, yeah, super easy pattern, very, very similar to the Agnes in the shape. So sorry, this is literally just out of the wash. So it might be a little bit wrinkled and it's black so kind of hard to see but it's just the plain funnel neck version just out of a nice black cotton jersey it's a really good quality jersey it's it's got a really nice weight to it so it's not see-through at all it's really nice and opaque and it's got a good recovery good stretch so I think it's always nice to have really good basic tops in your wardrobe as well so because then they can go with fun things like leopard print but yeah really love the shape of it the fit of it works really nicely and I like that it's not too tight around the neck so yeah loving that one and I can definitely see that I'll make a few more of these over the winter time And then my last make of the month was just something a little bit fun. I just wanted a really quick, easy project. So while I have the overlocker all threaded up in black, I decided to make some new underwear. So this is the Scrundies pattern. Scrundle wear, it's called. Um, so this is the most comfortable knicker pattern you will ever, ever make. Full jersey. You can make a few different versions. So you can do with actual elastic around the legs and the waist or you can do it with um, fold over elastic, or you can do with jersey bands. And this is the version that I really love. And I've made quite a few pairs of them and they are super comfy. So I just did that same black jersey. So I just used some off cuts from that top. And then I used my glow in the dark cats because why not? Now, unfortunately I don't have this fabric left in stock anymore. It was so popular, it went out the door as soon as I had it in. But yeah, I just had some scraps left over, so I just wanted to make some. So yeah, love these. So yeah, those are my makes for the month. So I'm actually surprised at how much I did get done. But yeah, again, October is going to be crazy busy. So if you don't already know, I am in the process of opening up an actual high street shop. So fabric shop and sewing school, which is super exciting. But obviously there's going to be so much hard work to get the shop up and running. I've got my Kickstarter campaign still running. So as of today, it's got eight days left to go and it's got just about £700 left until I hit the target. So I'm really, really hopeful that we can actually hit it. 
Um, I'll leave the link below if you want to go and find out more information about it. There's still some good rewards left, um, so if you've got any money that you can donate to it, that would be absolutely wonderful. And huge, huge thanks to everybody that's pledged already. It's just been so phenomenal. So thank you so much. But yeah, I feel like I'm going to be needing to make a lot of bunting and stuff like that. But I also have a big to sew list this month as well. So things like the Sew My Style pattern, which is a bag pattern. I still haven't decided on which one I'm going to make yet. I haven't bought any of the kit, but that's fine. We've still got a few weeks left. And I want to try and make my other half an anniversary present. It's our anniversary tomorrow, actually, so I need to get on with that today. And yeah, I've got some pattern testing I need to do as well. So yeah, busy, 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 but I'm sure it will all be good. And I'll get as much done as I can. Anyway, I am going to leave you there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a little thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I did have one subscriber mention that she's got the notification icon clicked and she wasn't getting notified when I released a video. So she's gone in, unclicked it, clicked it back and it seems to be fine now. So I'm not sure if anyone else has had that issue. But yeah, just head down to the little bell icon and click that and then it will tell you when I upload a new video. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.